you looking at, dog? I'm doing the swill. Huh. Hey, what is up, everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood homebrewer, Rick, here. And to everyone out there in the homebrew world, or homebrew land, happy homebrew Wednesday, everyone. Uh, this is going to be a really cool episode for me. I believe it's like four or five. I can't remember. Um, of course, I don't have my uh, homebrew channel pulled up. But uh, anyway, I have... My Demon Brew. Uh, it has been in the bottle um, about six to se six or seven days. Uh, so I threw one in last night. Should uh, open on camera for you guys. Um, unfortunately, I will not be tasting any of the Autumn Amber Ale. Um, tried one the other day. I have no idea what the hell uh, happened to it. Really, really bitter. Really weird. Off flavors, I mean, just really bad. Um, so I went ahead and set a six pack of it um, out of the way and just got rid of the rest of it. I know that's a cardinal sin, but uh, there's something drastically wrong with it. And uh, I'm going to be needing the bottles anyway. And uh, But I do want to show you guys this. This thing turned out beautiful. I mean, I don't think you guys, I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, I'm sure you can. But uh, that stuff is as clear as a bell. And, uh, but I'm going to leave a six pack of that up in the closet for about a month. And, uh, you'll have to, I have to apologize for my beer flashlight. But, uh, um, yeah, I, I've decided to go ahead and put a six pack away. And, uh, I just went ahead, only had about a 12 pack left of it. Uh, but I did actually, upon opening a few of them, I found a little bit of mold. Uh, so I'm guessing they got infected. Um, like I said, it's not going to hurt. Leave a six pack up in the closet. Uh, you know, I've got it covered up with a black shirt and everything to keep all the keep all the bad lighting and everything away from it. But uh, we're gonna let that sit for about a month. I also set one of my dark ales up here uh, just to forget about. So um, I'll probably wait about a month and uh, go ahead and crack into one of those as well. But uh, we have this one here, and I did fortunately find some. They're kind of water glasses, but hey, uh, it'll never see water <laughs> other than to be washed. But uh, I wanted to open one of my uh, dark ales here. Uh, now remember guys, this is a Cooper's dark ale with 1.3 kilo of uh, dry malt. But uh, anyway, we are going to open this and see how it sounds. Oh, 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 smoke. You know, got to do the old infamous crank. It, oh, smoke, smoke. Uh, all right, let's give this a pour. Uh, my pouring skills suck, so bear with me. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. This is the first beer of the day, so. Wow. As you guys can see, that is like two fingers. Oh, it's beautiful. Let's see what it looks like, though. I want to get a real nice... I don't know if you guys can see that, but uh, got a real nice, like, uh, dark. As you guys can, if you guys can see, it's got a nice little bit of carbonation already. Smells outstanding. Holy crap. Uh, with the malt extract, I still went up with like 5.7%. I had a starting gravity of 10.53. Uh, dog hit the camera. I'm sorry. Um, I had a starting gravity at 10.53, and I had a final of 10.10, uh, .10. so uh, it went, the yeast definitely did its job, but uh, let's give this a whirl. Holy, wow. Whew. That's definitely got a hell of a bit of alcohol bite, but, uh, whew. I'm sure I'm, these aren't gonna. I'm not gonna be drinking any of these uh, for at least another week, maybe two. But uh, wow, that is uh, that's like ten times better <laughs> than that Autumn Amber Ale is. But uh, whew, wow, you want some dog? I don't know if you guys can see her, but she's sitting here on a bed. She loves beer, and I know hops aren't good for dogs, but hey, my dog likes beer. But uh, yeah, we're losing a little bit of the head, but of course, like I said, this is still relatively green. It's only been about, I want to say like six, six or seven days, but, uh, has a 
has an awesome mouthfeel. Holy crap. This is going to be really, really good in about another week. Uh, and I personally cannot wait. Uh, I will be uh, this Friday. Uh, I might go ahead and record. I might do a brew, a real late brew uh, Friday night. I'm going to be going and I'm just going to go pick up another Cooper's kit. Um, my local homebrew store has um, has Cooper's and does carry the Brewer's Best kits. She's a little high on the Brewer's Best kits. Um, some of them I've noticed are up in the upper 40s, uh, which yeah, I don't know if that's a bad price for a Brewer's Best. Ooh, definitely got some carbonation sneaking up, but uh, I, I do want to go ahead and uh, start another brew, being I did lose the Amber Ale, or the majority of it, uh, that was remaining. And uh, I, I think I'm going to be doing one of the Cooper's Real Ales, uh, and just do uh, 750 uh, Dextrose and 500 of uh, dry malt and just leave it alone. Uh, at that, I, I don't want to go with all dextrose. I've heard a lot of people say that that can uh, kind of make them taste a little funny. So I'm just going to go with the dry malt and uh, the dextrose and see where it comes out. Hopefully it turns out really good. I want something a little lighter. Uh, I've been drinking a lot of dark beer uh, as of recently. I kind of swing between all of them. Um, I am going to actually be picking up some more of the Blind Faith. I'm going to go ahead and pick up a 12 pack of Blind Faith uh, Friday. I've got to make a run over to um, the office and stuff and um, go over. We've got some bullcrap paperwork we have to do. But uh, I'm going to be going over there, so I'm going to go ahead and stop by uh, the beer store over there and pick up uh, maybe, eh, I might pick up two or three 12 packs. I don't know. Uh, that Blind Faith is extremely, extremely well. So. Uh, I'll probably go ahead and pick up a couple singles. Who knows? I'm probably going to load up because it's going to be a little while. Uh, at least another week on uh, on this. And, of course, putting that dark ale or the real ale down, that's going to be probably a good three weeks. So i got to stack up a little bit on my craft beer for the time being. But, uh, anyway, uh, happy Homebrew Wednesday, everyone. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, hope you enjoyed... Uh, this. <laughs> um, I, I'm actually really astonished by this don't guys. I really am. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of this. And I want to wish all you guys out there again a happy homebrew Wednesday. And I look forward to seeing you guys' comments on the video. Um, a lot of great people out there. But anyway guys, girls, it's your friendly neighborhood homebrew rig. Cheers. 17. Do this wheel.